What up, Mugman Nation? Check this guy out. He's pretty good at juggling. Today, we'll be beating the game with only the pea shooter. I think I'll be doing this one on regular. Psych! We only do expert here over in the Mugman Nation. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get started. We are starting off with, you guessed it, the Root Pack, the first boss of the game. The Root Pack is an easy boss that I'm not going to spend too much time on. You know, during the first phase, just dodge the mud balls and parry the worms. It's easy peasy. During the second phase, I decide to flex a little bit and attempt the secret phase. Spice up this first boss a little bit. Let's see how that pans out for me. All right, man, it's it's a little too hard for you for me, you know. Forget about the secret phase. I'm gonna do it the old-fashioned way by firing my pea shooter at the onion and just you know taking him out. And then during the final phase, I'm just gonna fire my pea shooter at the carrot, dodge his mind rays, dodge the flying carrots. The ex is great for taking all those flying carrots, and that's about it, guys. That's the root pack. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Easy boss. Next up is Ribby and Croats, the Frog Boys. The first phase with the pea shooter is simple. You shoot the peas, you pee the shooter, you shoot her to the peas, you pee the shoot. Whichever you want to do, as long as you dodge those fists he throws out and you shoot the little fire imps flying around, you know, it's a pretty easy round. I feel like the pea shooter is one of those weapons that just gets better the better you are at the game. So, you know, if you're just starting out, maybe the pea shooter isn't the best weapon for you. But, you know, if you're an experienced veteran like me, I, I love the pea shooter. I think it's one of the best weapons in the game. The second phase is easy. You just stand there and dodge the fist while croaks blows you you know nothing else mu nothing else much to say let's just go on to the next phase the third phase i get pretty unlucky i'm pretty good at the third phase but i am terrible at the tiger roll it's something i need to practice but i'm just too lazy to you know my speed runs i kind of just hope i don't get the tiger so sadly i get the tiger and i'm down to one hp uh, and a dream and then sadly my next roll after that is tiger again two tigers it isn't looking too good for me but i managed to clutch out tiger because you know i'm like that i'm clutch and luckily i ended on a snake guys it's not a frog it's a snake look it up one hp in a dream baby we're clutch as heck let's go wow one HP in a dream, baby. What a clutch. The tiger's my worst one. Goop Legron, Grippy Legron, Poop Legron, whatever you want to call him. The blue bouncy ball. It's way too easy with the pea shooter. You just run away and pepper him with the pea from your shooter. When in doubt, pee it out, guys. The first phase is easy. You just duck underneath him when he flings his head at you and run away when he bounces around. The second phase, the exact same thing. Just pepper him with the pea shooter and run away from him when he bounces around. And don't forget to duck under the giant fist, guys. It's, it's easy. The third phase, even easier. This entire boss fight is easy. It's like this boss is like the Weenie Hut Jr. of Cuphead. I don't know what the Salty Spittoon would be, though. Grim Matchstick, the Devil, King Dice. I don't, I'm not sure yet. Maybe we'll figure it out later. Let's go. First try, it, it's Gooplicon. It's too easy. It, even with the pea shooter. Cagney Carnation. Oh boy. I would recommend actually using the pea shooter on this boss fight. I think it's one of the better weapons to use next to like the lobber or the spreader. I love the range it has. So you can just see it on any platform you want or underneath them. And you can always just get good DPS off. The only hard phase of Cagney Carnation on Expert, in my opinion, is the first phase. Because Cagney just spams those mug eating grass plants at you. And you just got to make sure to parry the pink seed. They're kind of annoying to get away from because they just follow you around you know and if you let the pink seed live that thing starts flying around above you shooting little pink seeds at you more pink seeds and then once you get through the first part the second part is pretty easy you know he just fires his seeds at you throws boomerangs he stretches out which you know is a lot easier to dodge than heat seeking plants you know i hate those plants so much just look at all this damage i'm doing when in doubt pee it out look at this guys every shot is hitting 100 accuracy maximum dps in the final phase you guys already know how it is with me i'm down to one HP and I am no stranger to this. You know, I've been in a lot of 1 HP situations. I dodge the pollen, I keep firing my pea shooter, and I survive with only 1 HP. And you guys already know, a dream, baby. You know, we're on to aisle two. Let's keep it going. Let's go. Not bad, not bad. I like the range Pea Shooter has. Like, no matter where I am, I can always hit the boss. The first boss of Isle 2 is Baroness Von Bonbon. You face three of her lackeys, and then you face the Baroness herself. She sends out the Candy Corn first, which with Pea Shooter was amazing. Awesome goon to fight, you know, with this weapon. I just controlled the middle, and I just kind of stayed put, and I angled, and I just peed all over this Candy Corn. You know, easy money. All I had to do was jump over it when I crossed my path, and then I was able to take out its little minions also with the Pea Shooter, and I was able to dodge them in general, you know? The second boss I get is the Waffle, and the same 
thing. I just camp the middle and angle my pea shooter up at it. The waffle was a little annoying because sometimes I couldn't get a good angle because his flight pattern, you know, it's not very predictable, but you know, we got it done. We got, we got it covered. The third phase, I get the muffin man or the cupcake guy. You know, it probably is the cupcake guy, but I like call him the muffin man a lot better. Sometimes you can't get a good angle on him, so he is a little annoying. You know, all his attacks are easy to dodge, but I like going fast. And if I can't get a good shot, I lose DPS and this phase takes a little longer than it should. But at the end, I get a crispy angle. Look at this creamy angle. Look at this maximum DPS and the muffin man goes down. The final phase was probably my favorite final phase of the run. You know, you dodge the head she tries to throw you while you maintain pea shooter DPS. It was very fun and using the little peppermint that came out to parry was awesome. It was challenging and it let me get a little creative with my dodges. You know, it just let me get, be a little cracked here and there. Alas, I am down to one HP in a dream. Let's see if I can clutch this out my first try. Oh, come on, second head. Sadly, I do not get it my first try, but I ran it back and I instantly got it my second try. Look at these head dodges, man. Jeez, I'm cracked. Like, I'm rewatching this footage. I, I These head dodges are insane, guys. Come on. I, 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 I need some credit here. Let's go, second try. Dude, dodging those two heads of the pea shooter is pretty satisfying. This is a lot of fun. Beppy the clown. Man, I hate clowns, and Beppy is no exception. So we got to get this done first try, so I don't have to do this again, you know? The first phase with the pea shooter is amazing. It's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You know, you can keep your distance. All you have to do is jump over him when he charges at you. Not much else to say. Let's just get straight on to the second phase. The second phase, I take some damage. It's whatever. You just take out the dogs with the pea shooter and just fire at his giant head. Good thing his head is so big, so you do tons of damage. You, you know, you can't miss that. That thing it's so it's so huge and dumb the pea shooter is also nice for taking out the dogs i would just aim up and the dogs would pop without even even me trying you know and i would just keep doing tons of damage my pea shooter just wasn't missing and then we're on to the third phase during the third phase i take more useless damage like why did i get hit by that horseshoe man i'm down to one hp in a dream but hey you know i'm no stranger to only having one hp in a dream good thing the third phase is really easy you should have stand underneath him when he's on his horse the only real threat is the roller coaster and you know i can dodge that easily so i clear this phase you know like like it's nothing the final phase i was a little scared because i didn't want to face beppy again and the thing that gives me the most problems about this phase are those dumb penguins and their dumb baseballs but the pea shooter ex obliterates them with only one ex i was able to tell the entire left side every time with only one pea shooter ex and it made dodging the, the baseballs just so much easier i've never even thought about that for the final phase it just made it so much easier and then it was just me pea shooting all over beppy the clown non-stop pea shooter action non-stop dps easy money gg no read baby that was cringe i don't know why i said that i'm sorry guys let's go not too bad i like the ex with the penguins i like the interaction that's cool it is grim matchstick time baby definitely my favorite boss fight in cuphead especially on expert you see my least favorite but you know it grew on me and i tell you what p shooter made easy pickings of this guy during the first phase all i had to do was stand on the cloud and fire my p shooter and the nice thing about this boss fight is that grim matchstick is a stationary target and hitting a stationary target with the p shooter is like what it was made for it's really easy it's like p shooting fish in a barrel i breeze through the first phase and sonic speeds parrying the rings and dodging the fireballs very easy phase and we're on to the second phase same as the first phase it's just so easy because you're just firing their pea shooter at a stationary target all i had to do was finesse my way around the little fire guys dipping ducking and dodging them while not letting my finger off the fire button with the second phase finished we are now on to the final phase and i have a lot of issues with this phase with other weapons like the roundabout or crack shot because it's hard not to shoot the fire ores but the pea shooter is so precise you don't have to hit them it's really easy just like you know to move your way around them and you angle your pea shooter so you don't hit them when he uses the flamethrower you just go to the top angle your pea shooter down and you get free dps look at that big dps guys each face was very simple mainly because you know grim matchstick is a stationary target and that is what i believe the pea shooter was made for easiest s rank of my life baby first try let's go let's go Did i, I s rank grim matchstick first try with pea shooter let me see it. Come on, baby. Show me that. Show me that big ass. Ooh, a free Grim Matchstick S ring, baby. Love to see it. We are on the first boss of aisle three, and we are starting off with the beloved and beautiful Rumor Honey Bottoms. It starts off with the Oi 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 guy coming out, and he just tosses a little bee bomb that fires spikes. And these poor nine to five worker bees come by after a long day of work, just you know to get home. They just want to go to their families. I just shoot them with a the pea shooter. I take care of them real quick, put them out of their misery. During the second phase, it's not that bad. You know, Rumor Honey Bombs has a few attacks. I get the rocket attack as my first attack. You just navigate the platforms, dodging the rockets. I angle up the pea shooter. You know, or usually I just try and go next to her head or something or underneath her. 
for a second attack, I get the pink ball attack. Not too shabby. You just dodge her balls. It's, it's a really easy phase to get through. Not much else to say. Third attack, I get lucky again with the rocket attack. A very easy second phase. During the third phase is when I notice the weakness of the pea shooter on Rumor Honey Bottoms. As you can see, it is very hard to hit her, and I accidentally jump down and take some damage. That sucks. That's never good. And I am down to one HP and a dream. Can I dodge her giant fists and clutch it out? Ah, oh, come on. All right, no first try. But let's see if we got the third phase on the second try. I make it to the final phase with three HP, and all I gotta do is not let her fist me. That's all I gotta do. Also, you know, you gotta dodge the buzzsaw attack, but I think getting fist, not getting fisted, you know, is the more important thing here. I'm getting better angles this attempt, and I'm doing tons of damage. Maybe I just had to be a little more patient. You know, sometimes I get a little ahead of myself, but hey, that's from Honey Bottoms. Woohoo! Let's go. Okay. Not bad. Second try. Second try. Oh boy, we are on Sally stage play. More like Sally boring play in my right guys be honest does anyone actually like this boss i don't know what it is but i absolutely despise this boss when i'm making videos i don't know if it's because she's ugly or has a weird nose or has weird hair or she has dumb attacks like what is this why did she throw a fan what's the lore behind the fan does anyone know is it because she has rats in her umbrella why are there rats in her umbrella is she disgusting is she gross i don't know man every time i start editing this part of the video i just want to tear my eyes out I just want to exit Premiere Pro and stop editing this video. That's why I took a four month break, guys, because I couldn't stand this part of the edit. I hate you, Sally Stage Player. I hate you. Thank goodness I finished this on my first try. I, I don't think I can see another second of this fight, guys. Let's go. Hey, one HP and dream, baby. First try. First try. Werner Vermin time, the German rat. Sorry about my Sally stage play rant, guys. I'll get back to talking about the actual boss fight now. I just had a rant about that for a second. I hate Sally stage play. Werner Vermin is easy with the pea shooter because most of the time the dang rat is just going to be right in front of you. All you have to do is dodge his projectiles, whatever he chooses, bombs or catapults. Just hold down that button and fire your pea shooter, guys. Just keep doing that and the first phase will be a breeze. During the second phase, you do the same thing, but you just go underneath him if he goes up and then go above him when he goes down the only addition is you know they add spitting bottle caps in but in my opinion that doesn't really add to the difficulty because you can obviously see when they're coming they start spinning up and they give you a lot of time to dodge them oh my god what, what was i doing why didn't I move? The third phase is probably the easiest of the three phases, in my opinion. There is not a lot to dodge. He will summon these ghosts that occasionally throw their blue balls at you, and then the kitty will swat the ground, causing floorboards to fall from the ceiling. But you know, you just aim up and just keep peeing with your shooter, and the rat goes down. First try, baby. One HP in a dream. Let's get it. On to the next one. Let's go. Okay. First try. One HP in a dream. I don't really know what I was doing. I'm kind of watching King of the Hill right now. While I make this. Captain Briny Beard is up next. Pea Shooter is actually the best weapon for this boss, in my honest opinion. Let me know if there's any better weapons than the Pea Shooter on Captain Briny Beard, guys. The range is amazing, and all you have to do is angle up. As long as you don't get those dang dogfish. I hate those dogfish. I feel like they ruin all my momentum. You know, this boss fights a breeze besides that, and even those aren't too bad. I don't think I'll be using any other weapon but the Pea Shooter for this boss from here on out. It's just too good, man. Like, look at me go. I can hit him from anywhere on the map. If I have time, I just angle up and I just keep firing the pee. I pee all over his face. You know, I get big DPS, two tons of damage. During the next phase, you know, you just dodge the cannonballs, the boat spits out, and you just keep doing gigantic, huge, natural DPS. During the final phase, the fireballs, the whale shoots out are really easy to dodge, and you can hit the uvula from wherever you are with the pea shooter. You know, just pee all over his uvula. It has unlimited range, and you can, like, go all the way back and use it. You can go all the way forward and use it, whatever you want to do. And the EX is also amazing. This weapon rules. Use it on Kathy Brownybeard ASAP. First try, baby. Let's get it. We're almost done. Ooh, one HP to dream, baby. Do I got this? Let's find out. Let's go. Okay. Thank goodness. I was like, that That face just never ending. I felt like I was doing that forever. Phantom Express, the final boss of aisle three. The pea shooter is insanely good for this first phase. Look, not a single eyeball hits me. As soon as the guy shoot, throw, like, does whatever he does, throws him out, shoots him out, whatever, the pea shooter just takes care of him instantly. And because of that, I don't have to worry about those bars of soap, which always give me so much trouble. I parry all the bars of soap and I just keep holding forward and just keep shooting my pea shooter at this ghost. And it's an insanely easy first phase. Use the pea shooter for the first phase, guys. Did I say use the pea shooter for the first phase? <laughs> I meant use it for the second phase, dude. The EX is great and does 
tons of damage no matter where the cart takes me i am able to hit the skull but you know i still choose to stay right underneath him because that's just what i prefer to do for maximum dps you still gotta parry the soap during this phase but it's not that bad because even if they hit you like and move your cart around you're still able to hit the skull boy no matter where you go you know it's, it's pretty good it's pretty good on to the third phase guys let's see let's see how the peace shooter does on third phase oh my goodness oh my golly guys the peace shooter is just as good for the third phase you can just sit in the middle and angle your peace shooter so you don't have to worry about going left or right or anything usually when i'm doing my runs i have to worry about being right underneath but with the peace shooter nah you don't have to worry about any of that the only time i move the cart is when i when they spit up their lighting at me you know i parry the skulls and i just stay in the middle and i just keep doing damage guys let's go on to the final phase let's see how good the peace shooter is for the final phase oh my goodness guys the peace shooter is still great for the final phase the unlimited range the accuracy it turns the phantom express into a joke express <laughs> let me know in the comments what you think about that the final phase i just angle up my pea shooter and aim for the heart i dodge the fireballs i dodge the boner ring he throws at me and when i need to parry the tail i parry it and then i rinse and repeat that and that, guys that's the joke express guys now we're on to king daddy dies hopefully it's just as easy as phantom express let's go one hp in a dream baby phantom express easy money it is time for king daddy dies and if you've seen any of my previous challenges you should know which bosses i do by now but hey if you don't here's what i do i start off with the tipsy trio not much to explain here you just stand in one spot and fire the pea shooter just dodge the alcohol dodge the eyeballs you know there's not much else to say about this boss Boss number two is Hocus Pocus. Again, not much to say. A very easy boss. He just has two attacks. The weird balloon face card attack. He has the spades, the clubs. I don't know what they're called. Let me know what they're called in the comments. I forget. And then the skull attack. I just stand in the middle platform and fire the pea shooter until, you know, the, the Hocus Pocus goes down. Free. And then there's Mangosteen. And yeah, it's just Mangosteen. Die, Mangosteen. It's Mangosteen. I don't know, man. It's Mangosteen. I got nothing to say. And then we are on to the big man himself, Big Daddy D. Just parry the cars that come walking towards, or you can stand behind the hand, but I don't like doing that, and just fire straight at his face. Use your EXs. You know, you'd think there'd be more to this final boss fight, but to be honest, it's probably one of the easier ones in the fight. Sorry, King Daddy D. I'm the new king. King Daddy Mugman. <laughs> I don't like the sound of that. I like King Daddy Dice better, but King Daddy Mugman, everyone. Easy money. King Daddy Dice done. The final boss, the final duel, the finale of beating Cuphead with only the pea shooter, a dance with the devil. Let's see how we fare with the most basic weapon in Cuphead versus the hardest final boss in the game. And I tell you what, we are off to an electric start. Right off the bat, you have three places you can stand and do damage. You can stand to the left or to the right or my personal favorite, right underneath for maximum DPS. It was a pretty easy phase one, except the pea shooter doesn't take out those little guys as fast as I thought it would so I end up taking some dumb damage and we are down to 2 HP after that I just dodge his various attacks like the arm attack and the fireball attack or when he tears off his head and it turns into a spider attack I don't know what the spider attack I don't know but all in all it was a very nice phase with the pea shooter and now we are on to the next phase the second phase is even easier with the pea shooter since he has a lot less attacks with a lot less things to dodge and his eyeballs are just so gigantic that you can just shoot at them and they'll hit no matter where you shoot from you know unless, unless you're aiming at the ground then obviously you're not gonna hit them but if you just aim up you'll hit his eyeballs you know they're, they're gigantic we are now on to the third phase and i think this is where it gets really hard i think the first phase is one of the harder phases of this boss fight but the third phase is still a challenge there's just so much happening on screen it's kind of hard to keep track of everything i like to take out the gargoyles like one gargoyle on the left or the right whichever you want so only have one school to worry about but you have the chips and the spinning goons also to worry about look how close this was to hitting me man i cannot believe it didn't hit me please oh wow and now, boys, I am down to one HP and a dream. Let's see if I can clutch out the final boss with only one HP and a dream. Why did I dash that way? No, dude. Hey, sadly, you know, you can't win them all. But let's see what happens on the next try. You know, we got a pretty good run going. We have plenty of HP. Let's see if we beat it. Easy money. Third time's the charm, baby. Challenge is done. Pea shooter is over. Not bad. I don't know. It's pretty pretty neutral there. It's the pea shooter. It's probably like the, you know, the, the mid-tier weapon. It's like the Mario of Cuphead. Hey, that's the run, boys. GG's.
All right, Mugman Nation, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Happy holidays. Have a great New Year's. Have a great Hanukkah. Have a great Kwanzaa. Have a great whatever you celebrate. Sorry for lack of uploads, guys. You know, I, it was just busy season. I was just working a lot. But hey, you know, I'm back to my regularly once a month uploads, you know? Hey, guys, let me know what your New Year's resolution in the comments is, okay? My New Year's resolution is...